Dear alumni and friends of the University of North Dakota, I'm Andy Armacost, the new president of UND. I'm excited to step into this, this position after six months since the announcement and four and a half months of a transition period working alongside President Josh Wynn. And during that transition, I focused heavily on outreach, outreach on campus, but also outreach to our alumni and friend networks. And uh, through those experiences, I had a chance to travel across the country and to hear so many perspectives about how UND impacted your lives. And truly, that was heartwarming for me as the new president to hear the dedication and the support that you provide to your great university. Let me offer my personal thanks to President Josh Wynn and his wife, Susan Farkas, for their leadership. Josh returns now to his role as the Vice President for Health Affairs and the Dean of the School of Medicine and Health Sciences, but adds a new element to his portfolio, and that is supporting Governor Burgum as the state's chief health strategist. And so kudos to Josh for that position and uh, continuing to do double duty in very important ways for the state of North Dakota. As I step into this position though, there's a backdrop both locally and nationally that's uh, sad and disappointing. Um, First was the shooting death of Officer Cody Holty of the Grand Forks Police Department, whom we honor on Tuesday with his memorial service. His wife, Amanda, is actually a proud graduate of UND, and together they were vital members of our local community. We truly grieve for the entire Holty family at this time. Second was the tragic death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, and we grieve for his family and friends as well. His death has ignited protests, as you know, across the nation, which have magnified existing racial tensions within the country. I know there's a great desire for a sense of community and coming together, and also an outcry for justice. Peaceful protests can be productive, yet violence of any kind is simply unacceptable. And universities have had a long history of creating the space for different points of views to be expressed. And I believe it is essential for universities to continue to foster discussions, to learn from each other, and to model respectful dialogue so that we may come together as a community to solve our deepest challenges. And we all have different perspectives shaped by our own personal experiences, yet we are all connected as fellow human beings. And from what I have seen of the state of North Dakota over the last few months, is that North Dakota and UND are places where we take care of each other and we lead by example. This gives me great hope that we will move through these challenges together stronger. And making this tougher has been our separation, our physical separation because of the pandemic. And I know that I'm eager to physically bring our campus together so that we can have these challenging discussions face to face. And speaking of returning, the UND leadership team has been setting up plans to create a COVID resistant campus to make sure that we can offer our programs safely, both on campus and online. And bedrock principles of our reopening are ensuring the health and well-being of all members of our, of our campus community, and also developing and adhering to a sense of community rooted in both respect and empathy. And we've been working with leadership from the University Senate, from the Staff Senate, from student government to make sure that we get this right. We're working with unit leaders, deans, and department chairs to make sure that we inform you of the plans and to best understand your concerns as we try to get back to campus this fall. We will offer some Zoom forms as well this summer. And all the while, we focus on these near-term issues we must keep our eyes on the strategic long-term direction of UND. And we will launch a new initiative this fall to define what the state of higher education at UND looks like both in the near and the long-term future. And our alumni and friend networks play a huge, a huge role in making this happen. We rely on you for sharing your experiences, for giving us key ideas, and for supporting us with your time, talent, and treasure. We truly appreciate all that you do for the community that we have at the University of North Dakota. 
And so Kathy and I are excited to get to campus, which will happen in mid-June, to be part of the very fabric of UND, the Grand Forks community, and the state of North Dakota. And I promise you to lead with conviction, with openness, and with compassion when times are good, and most importantly, when times are challenging. All of us on campus, our alumni, our friends, we must remember that together we are one UND.